Geek, and I've made a little bit of uh, progress on the uh, MK484 little AM radio, crystal radio. Um, I've basically uh, uh, got the kit and I've just followed the schematic and built it up on this breadboard for experimenting with. The, uh, this is what the uh, schematic looks like here. Let me just back up a little bit. Go the other way here. There we go. So basically, this is the schematic of the radio, and then depending upon which antenna you had with what taps, these are the ways you would configure that. And then it has a nice little uh, pictorial of the variable capacitor and the MK484 as well. And of course, this is for you to build it on the circuit board, but basically, I just took the schematic and built it on the breadboard and then the um, antenna that I bought with the kit was just the uh, loop stick antenna 680 microhenry uh, round rod with no taps. Um, so you can um, inductively um, couple a wire or something else on there if you want more antenna. So that's where I'm at right now. And the, the curious thing is, while I am in the basement, uh, this is where my little workshop is, so that might have something to do with it, but basically with just the antenna, I wasn't really able to pick up any um, AM radio stations. So I uh, have this loop antenna that I've got inductive, inductively coupled to the little um, ferried rod antenna, and I was able to pick up a station with that. And here's the here's the antenna, and then the uh, ferret rod is underneath it, and then I got my variable cap right there. The curious thing is, though, um, with this antenna, I was able to pick up a station. However, I'm only able to pick up one station uh, up and down the band. I varied the variable cap up and down and it wasn't able to hear or pick up anything else but this one station. And you would think that would be, you know, a local station or some really strong station nearby. Um, but it's not. It's um, WTMJ in uh, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Um, now that is a station that I can pick up here on a regular basis, but certainly would have thought I would have picked up some local stuff on this before that. So anyway, I've, I've got it hooked up to this uh, and inductively coupled with that antenna and then I have it um, running over here to this Radio Shack mini amplifier so I can hear it without um, headphones and so that you guys can hear it as well. So I will turn up the volume on the little amplified speaker and let you listen and see what you hear. It's not super clear but it's, it's not too bad. I can try moving the antenna around a little bit. It might squeal. That's really about as good as it gets. So anyway, that's that's what I've got so far. Um, I'm going to do some more experimenting and uh, see if there's something else that I uh, can't do. P probably uh, maybe uh, try some of those other uh, loop antennas as well. Um, I'm not sure what the value is on the variable uh, cap that they give you with this kit. I didn't see it um, listed there. Maybe I'll have to go back to their uh, website and see if it says what it is. Um, but maybe it's only uh, only good enough to get maybe the bottom part of the AM band or something. I'm not sure. But uh, more experimenting uh, to come. Just thought I'd uh, update you guys on the progress. If you have a comment or, or questions, go ahead and, and leave them. Well, until next time, this is The Radio Geek.